If you like your car clean, this one's not, but if you don't like it covered in mud all the way down the side, you need some front mud flaps here, where. So let's go and get these out on the table, George, and have a look. Right, so there we go. George, grab the part number. So we've got one of them. Um, and are they are, let's have a look. They're front classic mud flaps. Um, front classic, I guess. Maybe yeah. you can get modern mud modern, flaps. Modern, yeah. Groovy. <laughs> did someone complain? I said some random word. Let's have a look what we've got in here. And we've got, these, these look like heavyweight. I'm just going to rip them open. Sort of bracket. Are these, I wonder if they've got an L or an R stamped on them to help me. No. But, and they're different, right? They're clearly handed because the way the... Yeah. The holes are, so... Alright, here we go. What else have we got here? We have a plethora of fittings. A fine assortment of fittings. So we've got some washers. We've got some metal washers. We've got these sort of plastic... Can you see their sort of top hat washers? they got a sort of... Yeah. Metal. So we've got some of those. One, two, four of them. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Hold on. Six of those, six of those. Oh, we've got a thing going on here. Six of those. Two, four. There's people watching me count. It's good. Right, and hold on, we got how many of them we got, George? Ten of them. Am I right? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Eight of those. God, that's confused me already. Six, eight, ten, six, six, two. Got that. Right, let's move on. Right. There we go. Let's have a look what we've got here. We've got Land Rover, Pucker stuff, look. What material is it? Uh, not gonna give us, it's got the engineering number. I can't see the material number there, but there we go. Right, I think these yellow fittings here conceal some fittings there. So obviously it's gonna, we need to produce some holes probably. But I'm guessing. Yeah, the same. Right. Right, we've got some little things. Now this looks interesting. They give you the scan the QR code. We did that the other day. It just takes you to a generic page. But they actually give you some, oh, some templates. Hold on, what we got here? We've got left hand. Yeah, just checking out, done double-sided. Hold on, I'm confused now. They've left hand. given us two left hands. Oh, mate. And one right hand. That's confusing me. Well, I mean, if we lose one left hand, we have another one. It's like one. the old MFR. And not MFR. Who was, who was before MFI? No, it was MFI, wasn't it? They made the knockdown furniture. You all had more parts than you needed. So it looks like they've doubled up. Am I right here, George? They've just given us buy one, get yeah. one free on the instructions. Classic. That, very nice of them. Classic. Thank you, Land Rover. Thank you. Yeah, right. Okay, have got one for spare. <laughs> right, so I think what this is supposed to do is they give you a graphic and they've printed it. So if you want to print it off the online version, they've given you a scale to check your printer hasn't misscaled it. For the banter, we'll measure this. Stop. <laughs> yep, they have got that right. Look, that does look appear to be the correct scale, 20. So, right, we're all good on the scale. We've got two things. The fitting instructions are online. Right, we'll open up the laptop. Now let's go and offer them up and just have a little look-see. Um, I'm interested where this metal bracket goes on um, ah look look it's it's clearly lining up with these holes we really ought to read the instructions first yeah and work it out but that's not our style right then let's just get, get well on which side is this we've got an l and an r they used to put an l and an r i know they're going to be fairly obvious but i oh yeah look there's a left hand in there if you catch the light right george you got that i got that yeah yeah right here we go right so having said the left hand i've grabbed the right hand I like that they've got like a big sort of square area here. It almost needs some sort of laser cut graphic or something. But the trouble is you want the mud flaps to sort of get out of the way if you're off-roading. So, right, enough waffling. So it looks like we're going to need to create two holes in this panel here somewhere or other for those fittings to go into. And then it looks like we're going to have to do something at the bottom. So if you look under the bottom there, if you lie down and look under the bottom, I think it's going to line up and the trouble is this hasn't got a lot of strength this bit here this just looks like the end of that wheel arch liner it's that sort of carpety stuff so i think the metal brackets probably i'm guessing we can offer it up 
Yeah, you see the holes in the metal bracket go all the way along. So I think the metal bracket is going to sit inside here like that. And then I think we're going to bolt that up through there. But let's have a look what the instructions say. Right, so we've gone the online instructions and see what's happening. So basically, um, now oh, they got, they have, look, they may well have two different. They may have classic mud flaps, George, that come down bigger. And these are the modern ones. So there you go. There's the two part numbers there. Um, we've gone old school. That's me all over, isn't it, George? Yeah. You'd have been more of these, wouldn't you, son? Right. Okay. And, th and these are the bits. We've got six bolts, ten nuts, eight small washers, six big washers. And this here, I think, is the template. Um, so we're all good to go. All right. Do -do 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 -do. So then it tells you, and I think it's lying. It tells you. So this is the brake disc here this is the bottom of the swivel it tells you that and this is your inner wheel light it tells you to take the three clips off take the top clip at the wheel arch liner so this is the wheel arch liner and then i think it's telling you to pull the wheel arch liner out because it's missing here and then that little lower wing panel it tells you to pull that off now one thing that is handy is it does give you the part numbers for the clips here so you pull that off and it should have four clips and it says for some reason, if the top two clips are damaged, they must be more susceptible to damage. It doesn't tell what to do if you damage the bottom ones. The appropriate quantity, two, I'm guessing, of the clips. And this is the clip part number there. We got that? Good. Yep. I'll write it in the notes if we haven't got it. Release the four clips and remove the front. Now, obviously, then they're telling you to print out this diagram and make sure it's printed correctly. Now, that already came in the instructions, so that's all cool. Um... If the supply template is damaged, da ba 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 ba. Well, I'm not worried about that. Um, and then basically, you line the template up with the wing, and you've got a mark, a round hole, and an elongated hole. So, I mean, you could drill two round holes. The reason I think they're giving you an elongated one is if you don't quite get it right, it gives you a bit of leeway. So, you could go for two round holes, and if it fits right, happy days, you're done. Right. So, there we go. The template is positioned. Make sure the template is positioned. You drill them both. And then, there you go, there's your template. You drill them both. You dremel it out. Everyone getting this? They can freeze it at home anyway. You wash the area. And then, this is like a view behind. So this is a view behind, and we'll have a look at this. And you basically, it's telling you you've got to put your nuts on. So hold on, so what's it telling us here, George? Two, two Ds. Two Ds and an E. So which ones were the Ds? And these are the small ones or the big ones. Why would you have two Ds? Right then. So two Ds are the... Right, so that's the two... Two of the small washers. So we need yeah. two small washers stacked on top of each other. Random. All right. There we go. Oh, gosh. So we've got that. We've got the two holes. We've got the two... And then we put the nuts on the back. Um, so that's the plan. And then... It's... What are these? What's this say? Is that reinstalling that clip? Make sure they protect the paintwork, make sure the clips are pushed in sufficiently and they're fully engaged. Right, so that basically, then you've got to mess about with these clips to put this back on. I think I'm going to try, just put this on, tape it in place, drill through, and then just clip it on. Because I've worked out, now I've done this before, so don't go, this is just my idea. I've worked out that if I use this tool here, let me put an extra bit of light on down here just in case people can't see. I, I've worked out I can, I use this tool here and I sort of got behind, it's only a little bit of felty carpety stuff. And notice I've turned the wheel now as well. Turn the wheel and we've got the suspension raised up. Both give you a little more access. Obviously when you do the other side, you're gonna have to spin the wheel. But look, with this hook, look, I can get, I can get that up there as much as I like. And the two holes are roughly going to go here, if you have a look. Oh, so you got it, George. Um, so I, I can get in behind here. I've got all the room in the world. So I'm thinking, why don't I just put the template on here and go for it? Right, so I reckon. And notice I haven't... I've cut the bottom of the template off. I can't be bothered with it because it's only, it's only these two holes here on here. So if I just put that on there... Then I'll get the bodger of the year award. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's an aspiration of mine. Yeah. Someone will get those purists going, who can't be doing? I wonder how they really do it at the workshop. They'll never tell you. Right, we're all ready. 
So we get need a nine there and a nine there. So let's get a nine in the drill and fire it in. Right, so I'm gonna put that in. Now you could pilot drill it or center punch it or be really keen. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna push that. Oh, I smashed up my... That looks like one off. Yeah. Right. Now if I go in the middle of those two, you'd think that's where they aspirationally thought it would go, right? Yeah. Don't wonder, bro. Not in the video. Okay, that's right. What's the the chance of that being anywhere, anywhere near closer? Not very high. Oh, thanks, buddy. I think it's going to be spot on. You wait. Oh, oh, fair enough. What? Respect. Respect. That's good. Respect. Look at that. That's exactly right. So, you could take it all off and mess about with the clips. Don't tell Land Rover. Or you could just do it quickly like that. I'll do that. Right, let's get some nuts on the back. Right, so we need two of those. So that's double D washers. And then you need one of those little 10 millimeter. Ah, oh, they're quite cool. They're, I think they've got a little nylon. They've got a little bit of nylon inside them. So Looks like it. Anti-loss one. So here we go. Right, so you, this is going to be a rubbish video. You're just going to have to believe me. All right, I should be able to feel the bolts coming through in there, which I can. They're plenty long enough. You can hear them going on. Look. All right. That saved all that oval hole drilling and all that. Isn't it? All right, there we go. All right, I reckon you're better off getting the nuts and bolts on both of them. Nuts and washers, even. All right, so there's the other two. Why two? I don't know. All right, then. There we go. Find him. Where is he? Right, this is a bit of a pain. This is one of the drawbacks of this. Um, getting the getting the, the socket on the back of that is a bit... They put the nut right where there's a bit of plastic on the inside. Um, so it, it's a bit of a fiddle, but it's going, as you can hear and see. Now, it should pull up in the bottom here. There you go, it's pulling up at the bottom there. There you go. Right, that's that. Right, so that's that on. That's that in. And that's all that tucked back in. But yeah, you'll have, there's a bit of plastic on the inside. And what I did was I pushed a bit of plastic so I could get onto the nut. Um, so that is the drawback of that. But we'll get in there. We'll give that a clean now and we'll have a look at the next bit of the instructions. Right, so the instructions don't clearly show you, but there's a left-hand bracket and a right-hand bracket. I've put them there on the table just so you can have a look. So we're doing the right-hand. So I'm going to grab that. We're going to grab two bolts, two of these plasticky washers. And they're going to go up through the mud flap, and then the mud flap is going to be sandwiched between that, and then we're going to have the big metal washers and the nuts on top. Well, all we need to do now is position the mud flap up so it's all level along here, and there's some little holes. There's three little holes under here, three or four, but you need to go into this first one here. All right, so hopefully, if I, I'm using that paint pen, and hopefully, if I then, and it says if you, Move it back, it, there you go, we've got a lovely mark there. You might have to come around the other side. We'll come around the other side and have a look. Right, so if we look up under here, we've got an orange hole there. An orange hole, an orange. And then we've got, with the suspension on full height, it says use a 10 mil, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this nine mil. I've only just got enough height to get it in. I've gotta be, I've gotta be careful, because I'm not that square on it. There we go, and then, right, so you've got to put this in here such that it lines up and catches the holes that you can't see in the front. So it goes in above this little L-shaped bit here, and it takes a bit of wiggling in, and it does on mine because it's full of dirt. And then you'll see all the dirt come out here, look. But it needs to, now the other thing I did was I lined up, and I put a little orange mark here. So I said, well, if this hole is lined up with this hole, how far in does it need to be? So I'm trying to get it in that far. So there you go. There you go. So that's about me in the right place. Now, what we've got to do now, I've got the other mud flap because it's hard to show you. What we've got to do is from the wheel side, we've got to go up with the, I haven't given you much room to do it. You've sort of like got to abuse the, and then you can get that up in there. And then you've got, the bolt sticking up so that's what we've got to do 
let me get now I'm gonna start with the one on the outside the one here you won't see it but let me get that up and what I've got is I've got one of those plastic washers obviously with the little insert up that's uh, uh, up in there and then I'm gonna try and catch it on the end of that bolt but they, they've made this awfully tight there you go okay and then that should line up with the end of that bolt. I should, when I get it right, get that hole right at the end there. It's probably a bit rubbish to see on, on the video, for which I apologise. Okay. And then we've got one of the big metal washers. Can you see that, Joy? Yep. And one of the nuts. And then I've got to put that on top of there. Now, it would be a bit easier if you have taken that wheel arch liner out. But it seems too much effort to me. So that's one. I'll leave that position. But that's that's now. That hole should also mean that the spacing on these two holes is fixed. The spacing on two holes in the brackets is fixed. So I've got half a chance of this of putting this bolt in. So again, I'll put the plastic washer, and then from this side, I'll put that bolt in again and line it up. So with the bolt installed and you find it through, in the end, I used a little screwdriver to line up the bracket, wiggled it about, and then put the nut up through. But it's kind of tricky. I think I can install a, a design a better mud flap that gives you more access to that. because it's. And in the instructions, it says you'll have to flex the mud flap considerably to get the nut and bolt in. Uh, Right, so that's that one tight, and you can start to see now, it's a bit messy, messy, George, but you can start to see it It's sort of following the gap quite nicely down here now. So I'm just going to undo the bolt. So even though they've got more holes, the instructions are only showing using two bolts, the front one here and the one at the end, uh, either end of that metal plate. So I'll get those tightened up and we'll have a look. So there we are, finished. It's a bit of a fiddly job, it's not too bad. Um, hopefully that's helped. It's not the official way of doing it, but I think it's easier than taking all that off. Um, so we didn't have to take the wheel arch liner, but you do have to fiddle about at the end there. So there we go, there's the finished job. You can see it's all molded, all fitted up there. There you go, and on there, on the inside. Let me bring the torch around. Sorry it's not the best video because of the nature of doing those mud flaps, it is quite dark in the wheel arch but there we go hopefully that has helped good luck with that